giving away quite a reasonably lucrative contract to follow a dream and very gutsy and courageous thing to do. It's going to be the biggest day of my life. I've worked so hard for it and you just know it's coming. Right, I, I gave up my job, I gave up everything. I just have to bite the bullet and just, just do it. Any really gifted sports person doesn't like to lose. Look up, look up, look up, look up, posture up. You know, I'm alone in there and, and I'm going to really find out who the I am, you know. Isaac, right knee, right knee, right knee, Isaac. All right, boys, special guest joining us today because next weekend on Saturday afternoon at Nord Oval, the first ever Apex Sports Festival will occur and a man that will be heavily involved in that is a man sitting next to me, Isaac Richards. Welcome to the Dead Set Legends. Yeah. Isaac, why did you uh, uh, shut down your full-time contract with the LA United? Because they what, can't win. Why did you do that for, mate? You're obviously a talented youth player uh, in the squad. Um, so why, what was the decision? Yeah, it's just uh, my true passion is just mixed martial arts. Right. Uh, you know, as an athlete, you've only got a special kind of window to, to really test your limits. And uh, I look at um, mixed martial arts as like the purest form of competition. Good luck next Saturday, yeah. mate. Uh, thanks for coming in. Thanks for joining us. We'll be following it closely. Good luck, mate. Yeah. He's a dead set legend. Nah. Cheers, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isaac was really good at it. <laughs> you used to climb from one end along right through it, didn't you? Yeah. The other end. Yeah, it was good. Isaac's my eldest grandson. Well, I think he showed signs from a very young age that he had a real gift. And uh, I think it was only a matter of time before he got into something big. Um, it was just what area it was going to be. It was definitely going to be sport, but which? Adelaide United, uh, his contract with them, you know, he got out of, so... But now we're turning a new page and hopefully he will do well in this too. How do you feel about me going into my fire? Well, it's a big change, but uh, you've got to do what you think is right for you, and you'll find out. Uh, yeah, pretty quickly, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> whether it's the thing you really want to do. Yeah, head over towards the willow tree. It's a bit, it's a bit uneven underfoot. It's a pretty good kit. Uh, a little bit difficult in that he would get so keyed up before big events. Birthdays and Christmas, <laughs> he, he would be terrible. So uh, I'm sure he'll get himself wound up before this fight too that's coming. How do you reckon you'll uh, react watching, watching me fight, do you reckon? Oh, well... I'll be alright, I think. <laughs> I reckon you yell out some stuff for sure. <laughs> no, I never tried to, to mellow him down really. Well, if you if you're that nature, you're that nature. You get through it in the end. And uh, Isaac too went through a difficult teenage years where you know he did some things he shouldn't have done, but. At the end of the day, sometimes you just got to let them do that. Yeah, uh, I think it was evident you were 
way. You're going to be strong and gifted in whatever you did that way. Yeah. Touch, left hand, boom. Touch, touch, left up. Touch, touch, inside, inside. Cut the ring, cut the ring, cut the ring, cut the ring. Step outside, left hand. Boom. Check, boom. Mm. Uh, I came in here a few times while I was, but not regularly while I was uh, playing soccer. I wasn't actually meant to technically come into any place like this. Um, because obviously the chance of injury or something like that, so I had to be careful. But yeah, there was a passion here for if I come here, I'm in the right place. You know, obviously I saw I saw Shane as well, like how successful he he's been, and uh, he was coached by Craig. So you know, I just I, I just knew this was the right place. We got, we have a lot of guys come and go in the gym. So at first it's just like I said, it's new fella in the gym. I know it's only a matter of time whether I know that actually want to be here or they don't. You know, you get a lot of guys float in, see them for a couple of months, they're gone. Now, but Isaac was one that didn't take long at all to know, uh, this guy's pretty serious about it. Let's just build it up as we go. I would, I'd probably say easily the fastest learner we've had in a long time, a long, long time. Um, you wouldn't think the dude's only been training for eight months. No way. That's it. Knee the quad. Eyes up, eyes up. Knee the quad. Hands up, hands up. Nice, Shane. Two, three, Shane, two, three. I was that chief lion in the gym. <laughs> a little, little cub coming through. And I was just like, I have to tame him a bit. Like, that's what, yeah, I was just like, shit, like this guy is dangerous. Good, nice. I've been doing it for a lot, like, since 2013, had my first pro. Not, not many people out there were eight months experience can stand with me for five rounds in the cage, sparring heavily. And that, and that, it's never happened before. Cool. You're gonna push him the other way, Shane. Don't let him win that battle. That's it, stay there, keep coming left. All right, stop power down. Good, nice round. Nice round, no heavier, all right? We don't want to go any heavier. We want to take it back a couple of couple of percent there, even all right. It's a good effort. We we'll protect your neck, wrist control, fight the hand, fight the hand. Look up, look up, look up, look up. Posture up. Look up. Hands up. Get the power back down again. Good work. Down. That's it. There you go. Good job, boys. Well done. Nice. Yeah, Isaac coming in was like. It didn't take me long at all to know, all right, he's, he's going to be fine. He's going to do good. This is where uh, I honed my skills for hours on end. Dude, it hasn't changed. I, I'll, I'll still spend hours out here sometimes. Yeah, that guy's been stuffed. Weights here, yeah. Just everything I need, really. Yeah, using my imagination thinking that I'm actually am a pro player or something like that. 
Martial art? What's this martial arts? What? what? Oh, that was wrestling, yeah. yeah. Tennis? Tennis. Yeah. Right. Oh, there's me kicking the footy. Yeah. Footy. Good sports, man. Oh, hey, there's some good photos. Mm. Really? You made, you made it yourself a Geelong shirt, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Very good at any... He did cricket, basketball, um, uh, t-ball and uh, soccer, of course. But, uh, yeah, he, he uh, seemed to step up a notch around four, age 14 and 15 and, uh, and really give it his all. Yeah, it was just wonderful to, to see uh, it uh, end up with a contract with Adelaide United. So I was absolutely chuffed. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. We used to put our carpets in. <laughs> yeah, I'd ruin the grass. They tried to put uh, green grass in and uh, I wore it out every single time, unfortunately. Sorry, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor has been a huge part of Isaac's life. Absolutely huge. And he wouldn't be where he is today without his grandfather's assistance. The time that his grandpa put in right through his young years and uh, through his time with Adelaide United, grandpa was always there. Yes, we have a, a soft spot for Trevor. Yeah, I'm very, a bit nervous. I've seen UFC and uh, the, what happens in Las Vegas and on the island and so on and uh, he kept it fairly close to him, his chest, I think. And uh, but uh, eventually, I got used to the idea, and uh, it's ob obviously he's got a skill and passion for it and dedication. So uh, I'm quite happy to follow his instincts. Uh, yeah, my grandpa was a bit rattled, eh? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's a big, big, big call, isn't it? You know, not many people would just like listen to that inner voice, and you know, they'll be. This, this, this scared. This scared to listen to it. It was very widely uh, praised by, you know, the the head of Bruce Gitay, the head of football at Adelaide United, made a big point of, you know, what a courageous decision it was. You know, you're giving away quite a reasonably lucrative contract to follow a dream and. Uh, and I agree, it was a very gutsy and courageous thing to do. up a little bit, elbows in, just stay sharp, shoulders up. Big kick. Knee. Jab knee. Big kick up the front leg. Isaac kind of reminds me of a bit of a wild stallion. He hasn't been broken yet, and he's not the type of guy who's going to get broken easy. Got that little bit of uh, junkyard dog in him that you need in the, in the fight game. So he is definitely one of the most gifted athletes, without doubt. You know, he's got legs like tree trunks. You know, he didn't, his power is just enormous. So some of his training partners are, uh, you know, complaining that you know their arms are all bruised up from just holding the tie pads. You know, so he can kick like a horse. So. There's just something in his eyes when he does get deep into the sparring rounds and deep into any uh, hard conditioning where he finds more energy. So sometimes a lot, of, a lot of guys can push through those hard moments and make it to the end, but not with uh, vigor, you know, not really find some extra energy. So go from exhausted to, come on man, do you want to do more? Stop, stop. 
Good work. Nice, still plenty of power there at the end. Good boy. Well done, man. Thanks so much. Good. No, no, the power's there, man. That's the power's still there when the cardio's up. That's the key. It's gonna stay a little bit more compact. So we don't get too wild, hands out. You're gonna, you don't wanna get caught. Something stupid, something lucky. We can't let them get lucky. Take away the element of luck, get all your little things of 1% is right, and we're in business. Huh? Those kicks, man, they're, they're powerful, you know what I mean? I don't want to be catching those without pads. Yeah, no. It's not going to be fun. Yeah, no, even just like with the head kicks, like when he blocks it, because it's the right hand. He slammed the, that, shins, slammed the shins in there, yeah. He doesn't get out of the way. Yeah. That's where up. the setup comes into play. You've got to try to make sure if you're going to land that big kick that you're pushing, go back a little. Right there, you're a foot away from the cage. It doesn't matter if he moves left or right. It doesn't matter where he goes, he's running into it because he can't go back. That's the key. If we're out here in space, you can move, you can just be like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the out here in space, he's got room to move, that's right. So let's just try to inch him around. Just Get him to the cage. Remember, it's about being the sheepdog, you know what I mean? Yeah, I heard Sheepdogging where you want him to go, getting where you want him to go, and then boom. Yeah. Beautiful, man. Good stuff. Isaac has a certain spiritual side to his nature and I think that's best catered for in a situation like this, than where you're surrounded by nature. Yeah. You can get your mind in a good space, I think, in a, in a quieter environment. Yeah, it lets me shut off and, you know, like I said, I'm not thinking about a million things at once or anything like that. Uh, just shut off, just just uh, heighten my senses to, you know, feel the breeze on my skin, you know, be barefoot, feel the grass, like, yeah, all that sort of stuff, you know, and then just, just zone out and, yeah, that's, it's really, that really helps me, it really does. But yeah, a lot of envisioning, you know, myself in good spots, bad spots, how I'm going to react to them and just, just keep replaying them over and over in my head. It's a big day, it's going to be the biggest day of my life, you know. I've worked so hard for it and you just know it's coming, you know. So, yeah, there's anticipation there. Um, I think I'm keeping my head pretty, pretty good, <laughs> you know, but maybe overthink sometimes. Uh, but maybe that's part of the gift. We've been, we've been fortunate enough to have quite a few um, sort of natural athletes come into the gym and you know, you, but Isaac has that mentality to go with that natural athletic ability and that's probably the big difference and uh, you know, I've got to stop him training and at one point he was living in the gym, he was sleeping in the, in the, in the men's change rooms on a, on a mattress, you know what I mean? I want to see what breaks first, his mind or his body, I know where I'm willing to go, further than him. The body doesn't control the mind, the mind controls the body. And so that's 
what he's very good at. He's very good at just telling the, the mind tells the body, more, give me more. Get him with a good shot and he's kind of, kind of skirming away. It's just something about that, like, predatorial instinct. No doubt that Isaac's got a very strong streak of warrior in him. It's I think that you could argue that it's come through his um, genetics and you know going back three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten generations. Get ready for a long war. You know, be ready for the deep waters. That's when the big fish come out to play. Constant battle just try to calm him down and stop him training so hard because he just he, he's just got one focus and that's to to reach as far as humanly possible. I reckon he'll get there, you know, he's, he's very durable as well, so that's always a big thing for an athlete in this sport. If you're not durable, you know, if you break easy, you're not gonna go fast. And uh, he's got a very strong warrior mentality. A gentleness as well, you know, there's a mixture, mixture of the two. You can switch from uh, kind and gentle person to uh, the tough warrior uh, in a in a flash in a couple of seconds. Uh, right now, I'm about 88 or maybe a little bit over, maybe closer to 89, but uh, got to weigh in Friday night, 83.5. So, a bit of water to get out of my body. <laughs> no carbs or sodium, salt. Yeah, but it's worth it. Got about three kilos to, to go, so yeah, it would look like a dickhead in my um, rain jacket, and it's 35 degrees, so yeah, hopefully, no one laughs at me. <laughs> Obviously, you gotta diet down. Uh, I, I eat way too much outside of camp. <laughs> my coach, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I enjoy food, but um, nah, yeah, training sometimes twice a day, you know, just. Sometimes for me, less is more because if you let me just keep going, you know, I'll go to a point where, you know, just, I'm lucky I have a coach that like actually saves me from myself sometimes because I'll just keep going. Like, there's, if I get into a zone and whatnot, like sometimes I'll train six hours a day, something like that. Last camp, I actually trained too much that I got osteitis pubis, which is obviously not a nice injury. So, yeah, we just gotta. Dial it down sometimes, you know. What's up, bro? Yeah, just did a 4.4k run with a fucking rain jacket and a jumper on, hey. Yeah, pretty shit, but we, we're getting there, you know, we're getting there. I'm just sweating now. I'll be ready, I'll be, I'm making the weight, but yeah, no, nah, it's a bit, bit, bit tough. Yeah, I'm just checking on you, because I know you got a decent amount of stuff, so I'm just making sure. Cheers, man, thanks for the message, dude. Um... Most of it out, thankfully. Some people go on keto, but I mean, my body's not used to no carbs, so a bit drained and then no salt or anything like that. So and eating in deficit, so you add those things up together, and I mean it's not not the greatest at times, but <laughs> happily doing the sacrifice just so I can can make weight and get to fight, you know. So look at it as a necessary evil. Just have to buy the bullet and just, just fucking do it, you know. So it's not enjoyable. This last week hasn't even been enjoyable, but um, nah, it'll all be worth it when I, when I win, when I knock him out. So. <laughs> it's just in my head, you know. And then I like, see my friends and family after, you know, I've got a picture in my head of me, yeah, finishing this guy, getting up on the, the cage. And, Looking around, seeing everyone cheering, my friends, family cheering, so I 
I'll think about that before I walk out, you know. That'll be driving me. Yeah. Special, special moment. Pass out, but we'll be good. <laughs> to go. So what is it? 83.9 so. Yeah. If we were doing weight, I would have made weight already. That would be good. Alright. Well you can't weigh in till 6.45 officially. Yeah 500 under man. Just to be safe, you know. <laughs> Debut. All right. So, as I was saying, like, there might be a story behind each fighter, and if I can give you an example, it could be uh, something that you're dedicating the fight to that's helped you motivate you to get to this point. You know, inspire my friends and my family, and you know everything. So, you know, good leaders lead by example. So, I want to. Uh, I follow my dreams, hopefully my friends do and my family does too. <laughs> Yeah, Isaiah's got a real tough matchup against PJ Van Gaien, who's a really strong athlete, really, really strongly built guy, uh, fight of the night in his last performance. So we know that he'll have his work cut out for him. Again, it comes back to that junkyard dog factor. Yeah, look, it's nothing personal, per se, with him. You know, it's not friendly, though. It's not a friendly kind of thing, but um, there, was, there was respect shown and, and all that. Um, you know, we get locked in a cage and he sees a look in my eye, you know, it's going to be a bit shocked, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
I'm sorry, man. I know he's been the guy that's with uh, since, since I've been training, man. He's the guy in the gym every day. So even before training, after training, he's the guy in the gym. So I mean, he, he puts his whole heart and soul into everything that he does. And it's no different going into MMA. So. I mean, I've said it to him his whole life. I said, we all believe in you since you're a young kid as a young kid. So it doesn't really matter the result, whatever happens. I mean, you're going to put your whole heart and your whole focus into this. So do whatever you want, mate, and we'll be there. Remember, we just got to piece up some some speed and some smackers. You know, something, something long to the bottom of the left hand, slam. Then when we feel like, oh, he's going. And then if he comes out, you just make him miss. And the winner, like and then... Who's got the bucket? Naturally, I don't want to see him get hurt. It'll be a mix, I think, of excitement and, and, and alarm. It's a little bit worrying, so I hope he, hope he uh, comes out of it reasonably unscathed. That's what you came to do, right? Piece it together just right, though, yeah? Huh? Piece it together just right, OK? And when you're ready, then you explode. Timing's got to be just right, OK? This guy must be a professional goalkeeper for the Adelaide United soccer team. He's an athlete in his own right before he made a huge decision about seven months ago, Mike, to completely give up the game of soccer, to invest himself, find this amazing belief he has in himself with natural talent in the MMA cage. Perfect storm, great gym, great community, great coach, great training partners, my obsession to just win, to be somebody. It all derives from, from fear of failure and fear of not being someone great or everything I do is based off fear. I'm in there to see how far I can go. When the door locks, it's just gonna be me and him and you know, I'm alone in there and, and I'm gonna really find out who I am. Oh, oh there's a stair down. I'm feeling it from here, Mike. Can you feel that? Yeah, that's a nice stair. Woo! Isaac didn't come to play. PJ is the real deal also. Yeah. Woo! PJ has a hell of a lot of support. Wow. Isaac, high left kick, leg kick. Nice right hand though, straight up at the cage wall. Dude, the pace is insane to start off with. Power there from Isaac and lands a left hook on the way. Isaac! Oh, big kick. Head down. Did you see that? Another right. Big drop by Isaac. PJ's not going to go anywhere easy. Against the cage again. But you know what, the whole crowd is continually yelling out, PJ, PJ. Isaac, right knee. 
Right knee, right knee. Isaac, listen to me. Isaac, Miss Drake. Let's do it. Yes. Oi. Isaac, stand up. again. Don't release. Put your head back on his ear. Right knee now, right knee. Switch knee. Knee. He just wants this like a bull. He's pushing forward. Yeah, absolutely. You can see that. Big throw!
Beautiful man, now we stay humble and we prepare for the next one. You got this hair? You got this hair, what I'm saying? Hey. Just absolutely amazed to see such fantastic uh, pugilistic skills from my grandson. It's just amazing. But uh, I'm so proud of him, and uh, it's, it's going to be the start of uh, something something big over the next few months and years. So uh, he's picked the right the right option, I think, leaving Adelaide United and uh, doing doing this. It's, he's proved that he's uh, he's pretty good. Girl. Fucking awesome sensation, bro. He pieces that performance up. Fuck a bro. You just showed everyone how All the pressure on you, man. Someone get some water. Someone get some water. Should be in the market. Look at this. Look at this. Fuck me. Big breath. Fuck me. Big breath. Steaming, bro. Steaming. So bad. I think I just showed what I'm about, man. That feeling of glory, that feeling, it's all worth it, man. And everyone saw it, you know. It's that feeling of just going up to my grandpa, hugging my grandpa and shit, my, my nan, all that. Like, it's just... Why is that all the pressure you had on him, you know? Like, he didn't put the pressure on himself, he, he, he thrives off that pressure, you know? Like, coming from the other sport and out there, and every time the radio wanted to talk to him or the TV wanted to talk to him, you know, he, he goes, yeah, sure, no worries, let's have a chat, yeah, this is what I'm going to do, you know, that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to piece this guy up, and that's what's going to happen. And to just go out and do it like that, it says a lot about it. And not just do it, he just, nice and methodically, he was patient like we talked about. Yeah, it was brilliant, yeah, absolutely. I want to cry. That's awesome. Well, you can now. <laughs> hey, you're talking. Right, what do you man. want in the bucket? Right what do you want in the bucket? He's got it sorted. He's got the ice. Okay, Shane, you want your mouth guard? Yeah, you worked so hard. I've never seen anyone shocked and awkward. Are you fucking on the drive? Felt good. Nice. I know that's a hard fight. PJ Mangine has matured into a full grown man now. Like, his last fight was sensational. It was fight of the night. Um, and he was a young man, and you look at him now, and you can even see like he's, how much he's matured. So that was probably the hardest fight, hardest sort of welterweight, middleweight fight you can take for a, um, to debut in South Australia. That was it, right there. So for Isaac to you know to finish it the way he did, yeah, unbelievable. Happily doing the sacrifice just so I can can make weight and get to fight, you know. So. Look at it as a necessary evil that you just you just have to buy the bullet and just do it, you know. So it's not enjoyable. This last week hasn't even been enjoyable, but um, nah, it'll all be worth it when I when I win when I knock him out. So you know, I've got a picture in my head of me, yeah, finishing this guy, getting up on the, the cage and. Looking around, seeing everyone cheering, my friends, family cheering, so. I was just in my head, you know. And then, like, seeing my friends and family after. I'll think about that before I walk out, you know. That'll be driving me. Yeah. Special, special moment.